everyone, this is Lady and the Violin, and if you made it this far, thank you very much for listening to my entire rendition of Gavotte. Gavotte has been so far the most difficult piece I've had to learn. Um, it has been very challenging. It took me about eight weeks to come to get to the point where I'm at now, which as you can see in the recording, um, I the most stable time I was able to get today was uh, 72 beats per minute. Um, there are better days for me. I've had days where I could play it at 80, and um, but today was not that day. But I just wanted to record what I can do today and show you where I'm at so far after eight weeks. I really had to dedicate uh, my full attention to learning Gavat since it's uh, the most challenging piece I've encountered um, and it did pay off. I feel like um, after learning Gavat I am a better violinist. Um, I feel like I took a few steps forward in my journey of learning the violin and um, I still can't play it at full speed but I know with like the other pieces I've learned so far uh, I realized that it takes time. It takes time and experience and patience to get to the, sp to the full speed of each piece. And I know I will get there. And as always, I'm going to set this song aside because I believe that I have learned as much as I can learn uh, at this time. Um, I don't, after eight weeks, I don't think I can advance um, by just playing it over and over again because I, I can tend to get burnt out on a piece. So for now I'm going to set it aside and I will go back to recording the songs I have already learned from Suzuki Book One and the next song that I have to record that's due for recording since two months ago has been uh, Etude, song number 12 I believe. Yeah, it's song number 12. So I hope that you can join me for my next play along video. I, it will take a few weeks. With what I know now, I can officially say that I have completed Suzuki Book 1. Yay! So um, now what? I think um, what I'm going to do is, of course, like I mentioned before, go back to my old songs that I've already learned and uh, refine them further and do play along recordings of all of them. And um, I'm also taking on my first violin concerto, which is Opus 11 by Ferdinand Kuckler. And I am very much looking forward to that piece. I um, already reviewed a little bit of the sheet music and it looks way easier than Gavotte. So I'm very excited to learn that piece. I, I, I think from coming from Gavotte and then going into the Opus 11, which is on, on the G major scale, will be a good change. And um, I think I, I will enjoy it very much. I hope this video has been a bit of an insight for you to show how much patience and dedication it takes to learn a challenging piece and believe me even though it was very challenging it was also very stimulating and very rewarding i do not regret all the time it took to learn this piece um, like i said i feel like i'm a few steps forward in becoming a better violinist um, so, and all that because of Gavat. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or even comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like or subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I hope to see you next time and um, keep practicing. Bye.